Dr. Ashton here. Of course, tracking all of the major developments, of course, but we start with our big number. And this is a big and very specific number that's catching our attention today. 530,523. Wow. Now, that is the number of folks across the country that need to get a first mm. shot, all right, every day between now and the 4th of July if we're wow. going to meet that White House goal to have 70% of adults, American adults, uh, with at least one jab in the arm by July 4th. Wow. And every we, day. We obviously know there are a lot of people who are still hesitant mm -hmm. to get vaccinated, but there is a new study out that shed some light that may motivate some people who are on the fence to get their vaccination of what can happen after you actually get COVID. Exactly, and you guys have heard me say before that there are worse things in medicine than death, and this new study shedding the light on just how debilitating this post-COVID syndrome can be. Uh, this study found 45% of patients who were hospitalized with COVID-19 suffered functional decline upon discharge from the hospital. That means that they were in need of things like assistance with walking, home oxygen, speech therapy, and this was not just in older individuals. Possible causes into this post-COVID syndrome still under investigation. It could be inflammation, it could be a result of an autoimmune response, it could be a combination of both. Some of these patients showing signs of autonomic nervous system dysfunction, meaning difficulty with their heart rate and respiratory rate, just doing every day things like walking up and down a flight of stairs. So this is significant. And for me, you guys, medically, this was a major motivational factor in getting vaccinated. All right, take a turn here, though. Um, and a blood test that can detect the return of cancer. That's kind of the headline. So I need to get into it. Exactly. A bit. And it's called Signaterra. It is available throughout the country. It's being used at some major medical centers, cancer centers. Um, it has gotten breakthrough device status by the FDA, you guys. And what it is is a simple blood test that in some cases can even be done at home that detects fragments of cellular DNA from a patient's specific tumor. So the hope is it can be used to guide treatment in cases of early recurrence. So before a tumor in terms of recurrence becomes available or detectable, you can pick it up on this blood test. So exciting research in the world of cancer. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.